food shortages and famine is coming soon to America. Prepare yourself. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rabbachah Kodash. Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone, talking with this truth through the Spirit. Single honors to the elect. Peace and blessings be to all the censored men, women, and children who consist of the one third. Shalom, shalom. Gonna get right into it. This is an article from abc.net.au. All right, so this article is talking about what's going on in um in Australia, and that's also another article I have speaking about supply chains here in America. But nonetheless, though, you know, a lot of people don't know that a lot of food is distributed internationally. Like you can go inside the store in Walmart and buy a bag of tilapia, which I don't eat, and it'll be produced in China. Or salmon that can come from Alaska or from someone else, right? So um, that's not to say that some of this chicken cannot come from Australia. They can come here to America. But I digress. The title of the article says, Chicken meat scarce in supermarkets. Fast food outlets due to worker shortage at meat processors. And ever since the pandemic, you had a record number of people who not only have been you know, laid off or furloughed, but also denied and stopped going back to work, especially when people were starting to get unemployment and they're starting to get those stimulus checks. Now you have individuals having to call in sick because they have contracted, you know, the CD19. And even I've seen in some cases, like at Red Lobster, they're telling people they're sick that they have to come in mandatory because they don't have, there's a no sick day policy or something to that extent so now you have people who are sick have ailments serving you your food let that sink in but i digress this is a this is a part of the article i'm going to leave both um links of the articles in the description box and the green square says shoppers are being warned that their favorite cuts of chicken are unlikely to be available in the coming weeks as another industry falls victim to cd related worker shortages takeaway giant kfc has issued a statement to customers apologizing that some chicken products will be unavailable citing supply chain and workforce problems let that sink in kfc is known for what selling chicken i mean even though now they have this like chickenless meat whatever they have there now but they're they're pretty much focal point of their restaurant is chicken and now they're saying that some of their favorite cuts they can't they won't be able to cook and sell to the customers. So they're gonna take a dive in profit too. You know, their fiscal year's not gonna look too well. And a lot of chicken, who doesn't like chicken? Right? And remember, I did a um video probably about a month ago saying that America is like eighty thousand um truck drivers short. And then I've also seen a video where a truck driver did a TikTok or Instagram, whatever. I don't know one of those social media sites. I don't have either. All I have is a YouTube account. And it was stating that in order for them to get back and come travel back and forth through Mexico, they must have the Maxine. And he said, well, this is going to be my last shipment, people. He said a lot of truckers don't want to do it. A lot of truckers are going to actually, you know, quit their jobs. So now there's going to be a lot of a lot of um, food storage um, a lot of food shortages, I'm sorry, inside of these stores and establishments, right? People, this is not far-fetched. This information out there that you can go and seek yourself, but they're not going to put this on mainstream media. Why? Because they don't want the people to have a panic attack, all right? Remember the first time they had the um shutdown? Everyone was hoarding water and toilet paper. But before that, <laughs> man, that was, that, was, that was not a line to get water. But there was probably a line to get some soda, right? Or some juices. When I went to the store them days, man, it was too much it was too much soda. I'm like, damn, where the water at? Right? Cause people know what's essential. Moving on. I'm trying to make this quick, people. I don't want to make it too long. Article from New York Post. Billionaire supermarket CEO warns of meat egg shortages as Omicron disrupts supply chain. All right, that that right there is what I read in the green box. Now, go if you look down beneath this video, I've underlined in the blue color 
what I'm going to be reading right now. The recent impact of Omicron on the U.S. supply chain has caused grocery prices to increase and could soon impact the supply of meat and eggs, according to billionaire Gristatis CEO John Cass Cat Simatidis. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Now I have a um a precept in the in the 1611 King James Version Bible in the book of second esdras esdras is how it's the greek way of saying ezra which is found in the old testament second esdras 1621 behold victuals which is food essentials even gas today that will be a victual behold victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case and even then shall evils grow upon earth swore famine and great confusion because for so long, everyone have been living in a, in a, I, I want to say utopia, but prior to 2000, the year 2000, America was like Capernaum in the scriptures. But in other words, the city of peace. Ever since then, it's just been deteriorated, circling down the drain, right? I remember there was a time when I was growing up in the 90s. You can go to the convenience store in the neighborhood, or in the hood, as we would say, <laughs> And you can get four bags of chips, four little bags of chips for a dollar. You can get four little juices for a dollar. You can get four Swiss rolls for a dollar. You go to the store now, that same bag, the, um, the, the amount for the same four bags of chips is not the same amount for what you're paying right now. Now, at first it would be what? 50, it was like 59 cents for a bag. Now it's just a dollar bag. You'll be a fool to eat. I mean, when the last time you have, you actually saw a 25 cent bag of chips? You haven't. I remember a two liter soda, a two liter Coke, a two liter Fago, not Fago, oh, I'm sorry, um, Fanta. It used to be a 99 cents back in the day with tax. Now, you're going to buy you a 16.94 ounce um, thing of soda, of Coca Cola, of Fanta. It's like a dollar and 50 cents. What does that mean? Does that mean that there's the, that the product has better quality now? No. That means that the dollar's losing its value. So it, it, it costs you more money to pay for the same soda 10 years ago as you're getting right now. And they probably and they probably even cut down on the ingredients or, you know, stretched it out a little bit. This, these are the times we're living in. In a blue, in a blue square. Omicron is taking its toll at different levels of the supply chain, whether it's the warehouses, whether it's the selectors, the drivers, the loaders. And as they call in sick, they are interruptions in the system. Catsimatitis, I ain't gonna say this anymore, told Todd Pirro during an appearance on Fox and Friends first. Now I'm going to be reading in the green square. Let me call him Cat. Cat went on to say that many of these interruptions will continue over the next six weeks, people. As the CD19 variant impacts the labor market, the United Refining Company owner added that the Northeast in particular is seeing the price of various products, including eggs, poultry, and beef, go up because of low supply and high demand. Why? Because there's not farmland up Northeast. We're talking about Connecticut. You know, Boston, Massachusetts, New York, all right, Virginia. Well, Virginia is kind of, no, well, you catching my girth, right? Wyoming, Indianapolis. A lot of the food comes from the South, Midwest. I'm sorry, from the South or from California, the West, right? Now, reading in the Burgundy column, Burgundy Square. Or rectangle, he added that the price hikes and supply chain shortages have been exacerbated by the rising cost of oil, which is necessary for transportation. Like that's why I mentioned that oil or gas is also a victual. It's it's a, it's, a, it's essential today nowadays, right? Because you only have at least three days worth of food in your local supermarkets. Think about it. Second Edges sixteen and twenty two. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. And the other that escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. Because the, the love of many shall wax cold, man. Especially when you when there's a lack of bread. It says that in the Bible. 
The love of many shall wax cold when there's a lack of bread, man. Let that sink in. People go to extremes when it comes to hunger, starvation, and thirst. Reading in the Burgundy column, in November, the price of beef rose nearly 21% year over year, while pork and chicken increased 16.8 and 9.2%, respectively, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And guess what, people? As the prices of these foods and these evictuals go up, your salary isn't. Think about that, man. Right? So, I mean, being a prophet through the spirit and power of held by Shema Shai and the overseer of the flock, it's our duty to warn our people, you know, the hopeful elect, of what's to come and how to prepare themselves for it. Well, you know, if you say everybody going to be all historical, how are you going to prepare yourself? Well, first and foremost, you got to serve the Lord. <laughs> it's no different than you clocking into your job and you being compensated by money. We're clocking into our job by uploading these videos, feeding the sheep, you know, admonishing, warning, and we're investing in salvation. We're investing in grace. We're investing in that day that when we know that we're going to need faith, the Lord's going to be there for us because we've been here for him. Not saying he needs us, but I'll speak as a man. We've been here for them by preaching his word. Like your house, I said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So when we tell you of the doom and gloom to come, we're rejoicing because the society that we live in, I mean, come on, it's not fit for a righteous man. And I go as far as to say a righteous, a believing woman that believes in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So as they, as they say, you, sometimes you must have war to have peace. The Lord's going to rage war because this earth is just full of all wickedness. And through that, we're going to rule the world in righteousness. That's why we're rejoicing. But you who don't believe, you who scoffed at us, you who who made our made us bearing our cross a little heavier, the Lord got some for you. You're going to be ashamed. Isaiah 65 and 14, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but you shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. You're going to have a vexation of spirit. You want to know why? I'm going to close out right here. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 25. But ye have set at not all my counsel. His counsel is coming from us. Starting with the elders of great millstone on down. And with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation. And your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh, they would none of my counsel. You didn't want to listen to us. They despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat. Of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Now, this part right here is for the elect. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. So, with that being said, I pray it's edified and fed. Stay in the spirit, don't fear it, just endure it. Ask for forgiveness, pray without ceasing. Stay humble, remain diligent. Allah. Off of a ball, shallow one.